Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this class. My name is Annette, and I'm going to teach you top 25 phrases in Norwegian. Let's get started. Hello. 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 Actually, in Norwegian, the word for hello is so similar that even I mess it up. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, well, this is basically almost the same. Good eftermiddag. Good afternoon. Good eftermiddag. Good afternoon. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Time for bed. Vad heter du? What's your name? Vad heter du? What's your name? Uh, actually, this means something like, what are you called? Jeg heter Annette. I'm Annette. Jeg heter Annette. My name is Annette. Or literally, I'm called Annette. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. A very useful phrase when you meet somebody for the first time. Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Maybe if you haven't seen somebody for a long time, you can use this phrase. Jeg har det bra, takk. Hva med deg? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Jeg har det bra, takk. Hva med deg? I'm fine, thanks. And you? You could make this phrase even shorter and say bra, takk. Med deg? Vær så snill. Please. Vær så snill. Please. Yeah, this is a very useful phrase you can use in almost any situation if there's anything you want. Tack. Thank you. Tack. Thank you. We also have the phrase uh, tusen tack, which literally means a uh, thousand thanks, if you want to be more polite. Varsågod. You're welcome. Varsågod. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Ja. Yes. Ja. Yes. Nej. No. Nej. No. Greit. Okay. Greit. Okay. Actually, you can just say okay as well, as it's very commonly used in Norwegian too. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld is a very useful phrase. Uh, when you want to say sorry, you can also say unnskyld. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Or you can say unnskyld. Hva er klokka? What time is it? Hva er klokka? What time is it? Uh, actually, hva er klokka literally means what is the clock? Kan jeg få regningen, er du snill? Could I get the check, please? Kan jeg få regningen, er du snill? Could I get the check, please? Unfortunately, those bills aren't going to pay themselves, you know. Vent et øyeblikk. Wait a moment. Vent et øyeblikk. Wait a moment. Øyeblikk actually means I blink. So wait just a blink of an eye. Hvor mye koster denne? How much is this? Hvor mye koster denne? How much is this? Well, yeah, as we all know, Norway is a really expensive country, so you're gonna need a lot of money traveling there. Hjelp. Help. Hjelp. Help. Easy to remember, almost the same. Se deg senere. See you later. Se deg senere. See you later. You can also say, vi ses senere. We'll see each other later. Farewell. Goodbye. Farewell. Goodbye. Actually, this is kind of a heavy phrase. Uh, it's like farewell in English. And uh, it's usually used if uh, you're saying goodbye to somebody you're not going to see in a very long time. Uh, so usually we would just say, ha det bra. Ha det bra uh, literally means have it well. So it just means, it just means uh, stay well. Jeg vet ikke. I don't know. Jeg vet ikke. I don't know. Sometimes you don't know. Nothing to do with that. That's all for now. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments. Also, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi guys, welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. My name is Annette and today we're gonna look at top 25 verbs. Vare, to be. Vare, 
to be. Var snill. Be kind. And actually, if you add så so in between the two words, var så so snill, it means please or be so kind. So when you want to say please, you can say var så so snill. Like. To like. Like. To like. Jeg liker bananer. I like bananas. Bananas are really healthy. Who doesn't like bananas? Gjøre. To do. Gjøre. To do. Gjør som foreldrene dine sier. Do as your parents say. Si. To say. Si. To say. Jeg sier alltid min mening. I always say my opinion. Yeah, that's important too. Forklare. To explain. Forklare. To explain. Kan du forklare dette for meg? Can you explain this to me? Actually, a lot of Norwegian words start with uh, for, something, something. In this case, forklare means to for clear. So it's like making things clear. Or explain. Høre. To hear. Høre. To hear. Jeg hører deg. I hear you. Gå. To go. Gå. To go. Jeg går fra stasjonen nå. I go from the station now. Vite. To know. Vite. To know. Du vet så mye. You know so much. Ta. To take. Ta. To take. Jeg vil ta med denne hjem. I want to take this home. Se. To see. Se. To see. Kan du se den bygningen? Can you see that building? Komme. To come. Komme. To come. Jeg må komme meg ut herfra. I need to get out of here. Tenke. To think. Tenke. To think. Jeg skal tenke litt på det. I'm going to think about it. Yeah, after this lesson, we're gonna have so much to think about, right? Se. To look. Se. To look. Se på den fuglen. Look at that bird. Ville. To want. Ville. To want. Du vil ikke dit, vil du? You don't want to go there, do you? Gi. To give. Gi. To give. Jeg skal gi ham en gave. I will give him a gift. Bruke. To use. Bruke. To use. Bruker du denne blyanten? Are you using this pencil? Finne. To find. Finne. To find. Det skal han finne ut av. He shall find out about that. Gå ut. To go out. Gå ut. To go out. Jeg ser de gå ut av rommet nå. I see them go out of the building now. Spørre. To ask. Spørre. To ask. Kan jeg spørre deg om noe? Can I ask you about something? Jobbe. To work. Jobbe. To work. Jeg jobber på sykehuset. I work at the hospital. Gå inn. To enter. Gå inn. To enter. Skal vi gå inn? Shall we go inside? Føle. To feel. Føle. To feel. Jeg føler meg ikke vel. I don't feel so good. Prøve. To try. Prøve. To try. Kan du prøve den maten? Can you try that food? Forlate. To leave. Forlate. To leave. Jeg forlater festen nå. I am leaving the party now. Ringe. To call. Ringe. To call. Ring meg. Call me. Ring, ring, ring. 
Okay guys, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video and also check out NorwegianClass101.com for more resources. Also, let us know what is your favorite verb. Uh, mine would be to travel, reise. I love to travel. So yeah, let us know and see you next time. Bye bye. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express train. Hurtitog. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, Passing train. Passerende tog. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank?
Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to... Hello everybody, welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today we're going to look at the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Norwegian. Let's start! Brød Bread Brød Bread Kneipere er veldig vanlig i Norge. Kneip bread is very common in Norway. Actually, if you mistake the pronunciation of brød and say blø, it means bleed, so be careful. Engelsk English Engelsk English Alle bør lære seg engelsk for å kommunisere med andre. Everybody should learn English to communicate with others. Svensk, dansk, tysk, finsk. You can see that all the Norwegian language words actually ends in SK. Hårføner. Hair dryer. Hårføner. Hair dryer. Jeg bruker aldri hårføner til å tørke håret mitt. I never use a hair dryer to dry my hair. Actually, I'm kind of lazy myself, so often I don't use a hair dryer. I just uh, let it dry naturally. Um, yeah. Schule. Dress. Schule. Dress. Denne skolen er veldig fin. This dress is really nice. One thing you have to be careful about in Norwegian is that uh, the word dress, if you say dress, it actually means suit. So don't mix them up. Shut meat. Shut meat. Jeg spiser ikke kjøtt. I don't eat meat. Well, you know, everybody say that it's good for the environment uh, not to eat meat. Um, and I wish I had enough willpower to become a vegetarian, but not yet. Maybe in the future? Who knows? Nishari. Curious. Nishari. Curious. Hunden er veldig nishari på hva katten gjør. The dog is very curious about what the cat is doing. I used to have a dog, and my dog didn't care about cats at all. I think cats and dogs are usually not really good friends, uh, but sometimes uh, they just ignore each other, I guess. Øl. Beer. Øl. Beer. En kald øl er veldig passende i sommerværet. A cold beer suits the summer weather well. So I think some of you might have problems pronouncing ø. Uh, it kind of sounds like somebody hits you in the stomach. You go like uh. Yeah, if you get hit in the stomach, maybe you would want to have a cold beer afterwards to cool off. Recently, you know, it's getting so popular with microbreweries. I think they have a lot of good beer, uh, like the, all the locally produced beers especially. I like to try different types of beer when I go for uh, trips and so on. Smør. Butter. Smør. Butter. Kan du smøre smør på brødskiven? Can you put butter on the slice of bread? In Norway, uh, we usually have a lot of bread, brød, for breakfast, and then we usually would have smør as one of the common things to put on the bread, along with other, um, what we call pålegg, which is um, literally put on. So it's anything you put on the bread is called pålegg. Rådyr. 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 Det er vanlig å se rådyr om vinteren. It is common to see rådyr in the winter. Det var en gang en rådyr som ble skutt, og så ble den rådyr. So the word rådyr can have two meanings in Norwegian. 
The first one, as you just heard, is roe deer. And the other meaning is crazily expensive. Uh, so the example sentence I just gave you means um, there was a roe deer that got uh, shot and got e crazily expensive. Bro, bridge. Bro, bridge. Den broen var veldig flott. That bridge was very nice. So, as you probably understood, this is about bro, bridge, not as in bro, yo bro. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. Which word did you find the most difficult? Please uh, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more details. Thank you, bye bye, ha det bra! Hello everybody, this is Annette from NorwegianClass101.com. Today we're looking at top 10 most common tourist vocabulary. So let's get started. Billet. Billet. Ticket. Billet. Ticket. Hvordan kan jeg kjøpe en billett til Oslo Sentralstasjon? Hvordan kan jeg kjøpe? en billett til Oslo Sentralstasjon. How do I buy a ticket to Oslo Central Station? Turist. Turist. Tourist. Turist. Tourist. Jeg er turist i Norge. Jeg er turist i Norge. I'm a tourist in Norway. Reiserute. Reiserute. Itinerary. Reiserute. Itinerary. Kan du sende meg reiseruten din for i morgen? Kan du sende meg? Reiseruten din for i morgen. Can you send me your itinerary for tomorrow? Turbus. Turbus. Torbus. Turbus. Torbus. Turbussen går klokka ti. Turbussen går klokka ti. T. The tour bus leaves at 10 a.m. Cut. Cut. Map. Cut. Map. Kan du kjøpe et kart til meg og? Kan du kjøpe et kart til meg og? Can you buy a map for me too? Museum. 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 Jeg har veldig lyst til å dra til dette museet. Jeg har veldig lyst til å dra til dette museet. Museet. I really want to go to this museum. Kirke. Kirke. Church. Kirke. Church. Stavkirker er kjente i Norge. Stavkirker er kjente i Norge. Stave churches are very famous in Norway. Omvisning. Omvisning. Tor. Omvisning. Tor. Jeg ønsker å få en omvisning av festningen. Jeg ønsker å få en omvisning av festningen. I want a tour of the fortress. 
palace, 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 palace. Palasse er 200 år gammelt. Palasse er 200 år gammelt. The palace is 200 years old. Guide. 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 Hva synes du om denne guiden? Hva synes du om denne guiden? What do you think about this guide? Okay, everybody, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. We've been going through top 10 most common tourist vocabulary. And uh, that's all for now. But if you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Also, like and subscribe and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more fun and interesting material. Vi ses neste uke. Goodbye. See you again. Hi everybody, this is Annette from NorwegianClass101.com. Today we're looking at how to respond to the phrase How are you in Norwegian? So let's get started. Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Bare bra takk. Just fine, thanks. Og du? And you? Og du? And you? Hvordan har du hatt det i det siste? How have you been recently? Hvordan har du hatt det i det siste? How have you been recently? Hvordan har du hatt det i det siste? Helt forferdelig. Totally horrible. Jeg har det bra. I'm fine. Jeg har det bra. And Norwegians are very bad at small talk, so the conversation might just die after jeg har det bra. Okay. Jeg har det greit. I'm not bad. Jeg har det greit. I'm not bad. Yeah, you know, life goes on. It's not bad. It's, it is what it is. Livet går videre. Life goes on. Jeg er trøtt. I'm sleepy. Jeg er trøtt. I'm sleepy. Denne kjedelige samtalen gjør meg trøtt. This boring conversation is making me sleepy. Jeg føler meg dårlig. I'm feeling bad. Jeg føler meg dårlig. I'm feeling bad. Right now it's winter here, so a lot of people, you know, get the flu or get really heavy colds and stuff. So uh, at this time of the year, it's a very commonly used phrase. Jeg må ta fri fra jobb fordi jeg føler meg dårlig. I have to take a day off work because I'm feeling bad. Jeg er ok. I'm ok. Jeg er ok. I'm ok. Ok is a very commonly used word in Norwegian as well, so if you don't remember your Norwegian, just say ok. Jeg har det flott. I'm great. Jeg har det flott. I'm great. Actually, my hometown Bergen, Bergen, is infamous for a lot of rain. So this is not a phrase you can use that often if you visit Bergen. Unless you visit in the summer and you're lucky. Takk for at du spurte. Thank you for asking. Takk for at du spurte. Thank you for asking. Uh, you can also say tusen takk which means literally thousand thanks, or mange takk, which means many thanks. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. You've just learned how to respond to how are you in Norwegian. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or phrases you like to use in Norwegian, you can leave them in the comment section below. 
and we'll see each other again next week. Goodbye, ha det bra! Jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte dere. Hi, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Norwegian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Norwegian. You only need to know two sentences. Let's see how Norwegian people introduce themselves. Hi, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hi, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. Hi, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. Start by saying, Hi, jeg heter. Then say your name. Hi, jeg heter Nora. Finally, say hyggelig å møte deg. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. And now, let's see the same sentence in a different format. Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. Hello, my name is Nora. Nice to meet you. Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. Hei has been substituted with an alternative greeting, Hallo, Norwegian for hello. In a formal setting, you would say your full name, but it is better to just use your first name when being introduced to new friends. Hyggelig å møte deg has been shortened to just hyggelig. When meeting someone in a formal context, for instance at work, hyggelig å møte deg would be the most appropriate greeting. When being introduced to new friends, hyggelig will do. One more time. One way to introduce yourself in Norwegian is Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. An alternative way to introduce yourself is Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggeli. Now it's time for Nora's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Norway. While Hyggeli å møte deg is slightly more formal than just Hyggeli, you don't need to worry too much about which one you use. If you use one of these sentences with Norwegian people, they're definitely going to be impressed. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Norwegian. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne. So let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. Takk. Tack. Tack means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add tusen at the beginning. Tusen tack. Tusen tack. Tusen means thousand. So tusen tack is like saying a thousand thanks. During the last lesson, we didn't really mention anything about formality in speech in Norwegian. However, there are some subtle differences in how you will be perceived by others. Tak is a casual way to thank someone. Tusen tak expresses more gratitude and is thus more formal. A longer and more formal phrase which expresses a lot of gratitude would be Tusen tak, så hyggelig av deg. Here we have just added så hyggelig av deg, which means how nice of you. Tusen takk, så hyggelig av deg. But how do you answer these expressions of gratitude? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is velbekomme. Velbekomme. Velbekomme literally means you are welcome. The other way to say you are welcome is the expression Bare hyggelig. Bare hyggelig. 
Literally, this phrase means it's my pleasure or with pleasure, but it is the most common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone is saying tack to you, you can simply reply with velbekomme or bare hyggeli. Now it's time for Nora's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use tack or tusen tack, Keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Tuck can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. In the last lesson, we learned how to be grateful to people by saying tuck. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Norway. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne. So let's start. The most used informal greeting is hi. Hi. Hi means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. But it isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have hello. Hello. Which means hello. And more time specific greetings like Good dog. Good dog. Literally, good dog means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use good dog only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say Good kveld. Good kveld. Kveld is Norwegian for evening. So, god kveld means good evening. Finally, in the mornings we say god morgen, god morgen, which means good morning. God dag, god kveld, and god morgen are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say them again. When parting ways for a long time, we usually say ha det bra, ha det bra. Ha det bra means be well, but translates best as goodbye. Finally, in Norwegian we have an expression meaning see you soon. Ses. Ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Norwegian. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know, hi or hello. When leaving, we say ha det bra. When leaving but want to imply see you soon, we say ses. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Nora's insights. In formal situations, Norwegian people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, it's common to give hugs. Don't be afraid to try it out with your Norwegian friends. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Norwegian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Norwegian, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the most common way to say it. Snakker du engelsk? Snakker du engelsk? Norwegian is a pretty straightforward language. We conjugate verbs based on time, which means we have past, present and infinitive. The question snakker du engelsk translates as are you speaking English? The verb snakir, to speak, is in the present tense. The second word in the sentence, du, simply means you. And you probably recognize engelsk to be English. Snakker du engelsk? To learn how to properly conjugate verbs like snakir, please check out our absolute beginner series on NorwegianClass101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. Like English, there are many ways to ask this question. Let's look at another one, 
also pretty similar to English. Kan du snakke engelsk? It's literally the equivalent of can you speak English? Kan du snakke engelsk? Adding inchil, excuse me, to the sentence would make it inchil, kan du snakke engelsk? Inchil, kan du snakke engelsk? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ja, yes. Ja. Litt, a little. Litt. Nei, jeg kan ikke snakke engelsk. No, I can't speak English. Nei, jeg kan ikke snakke engelsk. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say ikke before the verb snakke. Notice also that the verb snakke is slightly different than snakker. Remember, the verb changes depending on the time it is in. We are now talking about the infinitive, since it is coupled with kan, which means can. Now it's time for Nora's insights. For those of you who don't just speak English, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Norwegian people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute Engels with Italiensk for Italian, Fransk for French, Spansk for Spanish, Tysk for German. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase Inchil, kan du snakke engelsk? Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word Inchil, which means excuse me in Norwegian. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use Inchil and other words when apologizing in Norwegian. We should use Inchil in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, Inchil and kaffe tak. Excuse me, a coffee please. We can also use it when asking a question. Inchil, hvor er fangene parken? Excuse me, where is the Vigeland Park? Sometimes we also hear people say beklager, which means the same thing when you want to apologize for a mistake. Beklager. Another common way to say excuse me is inchil. Inchil. Just like beklager, we can use inchil when apologizing for a mistake. You can also hear some Norwegians say sorry, which is a long word from English. It's often used as a quick apology amongst friends. All of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a longer phrase. That phrase is Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. It means Excuse me, I am really sorry. And can be used in both formal and informal situations. Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. First, we have the familiar Unnskyld. Next, we insert the pronoun for I, jeg. Then, er, which means am. This is followed by virkelig, which means really. Finally, we have the phrase lei for det, meaning sorry about it. Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. Now, it's time for Nora's insights. In Norway, if you accidentally bump into someone, you might not get any response. But to be polite, we either say inchil or beklager. It is also common to use the exclamation å oh! before apologizing. Å oh, beklager! Great work! Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.